One of the simplest tools for student assessment is the rubric. A rubric is a system of grading guidelines for assignments. These guidelines are clearly laid out, usually in a table, making it easy for students to identify the expectations for the assignment. As an added benefit, students can evaluate their own work using the official grading rubric before turning in an assignment. This increases the student's awareness of teacher expectations and helps students identify areas for improvement in their own work. Of course, a student's assessment of his or her own work will often differ from a teacher's, but with practice, students should become more adept at anticipating teacher feedback. Similarly, rubrics can also be used in peer evaluation, where students assess each other's work. Rubrics can be customized for whatever assignment you're giving and the age of the students. For example, a rubric for a fifth grader's oral presentation about life on the American frontier might place more weight on accuracy than on public speaking skills. Here's an example of a rubric for an oral presentation. Notice that this rubric includes historical perspective as a criterion. This reflects the importance of understanding how the past and the present are related to each other. Other criteria you might want to consider in a social studies rubric are demonstrating change and continuity, describing political and social developments, and interpreting history. Before we look at some more examples of rubrics, take a moment to think about how you can use rubrics yourself. In the space provided, list some examples of projects you might want to create rubrics for. Then click Next to move on. Now here's an example for an 8th grade American history essay. Notice that in this rubric there is a historical interpretation category. This measures a student's understanding of events in historical context. There are also more levels of assessment than the previous example, four instead of three, allowing the teacher to make a finer distinction between a good paper and a great paper. Finally, we have an example of a rubric for a 10th grade role-playing exercise. For this example, students are recreating a mock trial. They work in groups, but are graded individually. This time, the rubric is a checklist in which each check is a point added to the total score. Historical accuracy and the credibility of research are stressed in this rubric. Although rubrics may look complicated, they are actually relatively easy to create. First, you need to take the time to clearly define the requirements for an assignment. Then you can simply create a table in a document using a word processor program and enter the information in the cells. You could also use a spreadsheet application to create a rubric. There are also several websites you can use to create social studies rubrics. These sites do all of the work for you. You just enter some basic information. Some of the sites also provide tips for using rubrics and for creating your own. Here we list a couple of free user-friendly sites that make creating a rubric easy. Whether you create your own rubric or use a program to assist you, a rubric is a valuable tool for assessing student performance. Not only do rubrics help you as the teacher, they also help students develop self-assessment skills that will improve the quality of their assignments. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.